Okay, so it says evaluate x cubed, x to the fourth, x. So this x cubed means that there is one, two, three x's. This x to the fourth means that there are four x's. And then we have x in just a plain x it is. So that's going to be at the very end, okay? And so just to kind of help with what this is, right? I put some colors on here. Okay? And then you have the last one. All right? Then in your answer, our base is x, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. So that's our final answer. Okay? For this next one, I have 2, I have 4 x's, and then I have 2 y's, and I get all that from this first kind of term, and then I do the same thing, this would be 2 y's and a z, and that's what I get there, okay? So we're going to put our x's together. There ends up being four of them. There are four y's, and there's just one z. Then for the numbers, I just do two times four, which is in fact eight, okay? Now this next one, right, that's when we get the negative. We have that extra step going on. So the negative 2 stays up top. Then the x to the negative third goes to the bottom. So this is x to the positive 3. And then the y to the 2 stays on top. Then I have my big 3, my x squared, and my y to the fifth. Okay, now I can sit there and I can pull out all my x's and all my y's. So I'm going to move that 3 back to the front just so that I keep numbers in the front. I'm going to put two y's. I'm going to put one, two, three x's from right here. And then I'm going to put two more. Okay, so again, these two come from here. These three come from here. And then I'm gonna have my Y, so I have one, two, three, four, and five. Here is where we do our pairs that cancel out and create a one pair. So there's a Y pair that cancels out, there's another Y pair that cancels out. So I'm left with negative two on top. I have three on bottom. There is one, two, three, four, five X's. And there are three Y's. That's it. Okay, looking at the next one. I have C to the third, C to the second, and then this is a negative, meaning it moves up top and it becomes a positive. So then I can kind of write that. So I have three C's from this first term. I have two C's from the second term. And then I have four C's from the last term. So all together I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Number nine is very similar to what we did in our welcome work on Friday. So because this whole thing is raised to a power, I'm going to write that whole thing twice. So 3a to the negative 2c cubed, 3a negative 2c cubed, then I have a negative exponent here, so it needs to go to the bottom. A negative exponent here, so it needs to go to the bottom. When it goes to the bottom, it becomes a positive. So I have 3c cubed, 3c cubed, all over a to the second, 
a to the second. So this part is right here, okay? And then this part comes down here. This part is right here, and this part is down here. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so now we can do our pieces. So I have three and then three C's, three and then three C's, two A's, and then two A's, okay? So I can put that all together. So I have six C's, four A's, oopsies, that's a four. And then three times three is nine, okay? So that's what you should have for the first column. Now we are going to look at the second column. So the second column, this whole thing, is raised to an exponent, so I'm going to write it three times. And then I can put my thing. So I have three x's, three y's, and I have three twos. This whole thing is raised to a negative power, meaning the whole thing moves to the bottom. So I would have one over mz squared, which means I have 1 over mz written twice, which means I have 1 over m to the second, z to the second. Okay. Now for the next one. A squared, B cubed, nothing is wrong with that. This is negative, so it needs to go to the bottom, and it becomes a positive exponent. This is negative exponent, needs to go to the top, and it becomes a positive exponent. Okay, then we can write it out. So I have A times A, and then I have three B's, and then I have two more A's. I have an A, and then I have five B's. Okay? So, A, right? Then I have my B's. And then I have, I should have more highlighters, that's my fault. Then I have my A's. Okay? So the next part, right, is canceling out our pairs. So I can cancel out a pair of A's, that's it. I can cancel out a pair of B's, that's it. So on top, I have three A's, and on bottom, I have one, two, oh wait, sorry. I can totally cancel out more B's, that's my bad. So I can cancel out one, two, three pairs of B's, and I have two left over. Okay, eight. It's kind of like how we did number four. This is negative, so it's gonna go in the bottom. This is also negative, so it's also gonna go in the bottom. So I have one over m to the third, m to the fourth, which means I have a total of one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So a total of m to the seventh. So that is your exponent part of your test. That's what it'll look like.